What you manifest in your mind, you can bring to reality. America's Got Talent. I've seen clips of this show, you know, Reddit, tons of clips. I've cried to clips. I've been inspired by clips. I've uh, thought less of the humankind from some of these clips, but uh, I've never actually watched the a full episode of America's Got Talent. Recently got access to Hulu, people. I don't know if you're aware of this streaming service. It's like Netflix, but different. Uh, so I got Hulu, and it was on there. So one day I was like, let's see what this whole thing's about. Let's watch it. I've never, because, you know, all of those judging shows, I never watch any of them. But out of all of them, uh, America's Got Talent I enjoy because it's different kinds of acts. You'll get stand-up comedians. You'll get dance troops. You'll get fucking d- dudes spitting water into each other's mouths. you get... Uh, like crazy yo-yo acts. You get magic. It's like any kind of act that you could ever possibly see, uh, you'll see on the show. And it's just, it, it, I got hooked and I literally binged everything that was like, I don't know, probably six episodes. So like most of the, actually there, I, not that many at first, because they're like an hour and a half long episodes. The first a uh, few episodes in the season. So I watched season 13, is what I'm talking about, of America's Got Talent, AGT, uh, as it's hashtagged. Um, but the first few episodes are like the tryouts, the uh, auditions, and this is like judges can, if they don't like it, they can, you know, hit a buzzer. And if the act gets enough buzzers, then they're eliminated, um, which I didn't mind. And I thought, a lot of their opinions were like, there was nothing really ridiculous. Uh, Mel B, one of the judges, I mean, as far as critiques, she, she loves everything a little bit too much, but then, you know, there's still some stuff that she doesn't like, or she didn't get. Uh, but definitely one of those, you know, just love it or hate it. There's not really any in depth. I mean, I guess she gets in depth. I don't want to, say that necessarily but she's one of the judges uh what's uh what's her face um oh my goodness what's her name uh Heidi Klum Simon Cowell and Howie Mandel are the four judges Tyra Banks is the host um which I thought Tyra did okay I guess they've had different hosts over the years the judges have shuffled up they've been in different chairs over the years as well i haven't watched any of the i wouldn't mind going back i don't think they're available on hulu to go back and watch the later uh seasons because i totally would and totally will probably check after i'm done doing all this stuff uh but if not looking forward to next season i'm just it's one of those shows where i'm just hooked one because you get to see cool different shit like there was one act this season where it was uh these women who uh, train cats to do basically like uh, what you would see highly trained dogs doing a, a show do, but she trained cats and she got into it because she used to be a lion trainer and she's like, "Fuck that business! I'm gonna go with the smaller version." Um, there was there was uh, these sumo guys that would make noises with their bellies. Hilarious. And the dudes that spit water into each other's mouths, the, the, the man fountains or whatever they were called, amazing. They were just so, it's just, you, you get to see all the, and there's ridiculous stuff too, where it's just like, what, what's going on here? Um, but I enjoyed the show thoroughly, you know? And it, just like the clips, there's a lot of feels. You know, it gets you emotional. The only thing... It's kind of weird, like I noticed, looking at production. The production's amazing. The stage shows, everything's fucking amazing. Uh, But it's like, one of the things that they, one of the kind of things that they hit on a lot uh, in the promos, the intro, outros, it's like, this is the American dream, you know, which is, I, I guess the new American dream is to just be famous, so I guess they're right in that. It's kind of disappointing that that's the American dream. Um, but it's also weird that, you know, 
I don't. None of the judges are American. Simon Cowell's UK. Howie Mandel's Canadian. Mel is uh, UK, and then Klum is from like Russia or something like that, right? Not Russia. Uh, like Poland or Germany or something like that. But none of them are from the U.S. Tyra Banks is. She's from the U.S. Um, and then a lot of the acts aren't from the U.S., which I didn't have a problem with. I was just kind of surprised, given the name of the show being America's Got Talent, uh, how diverse it was and how, I don't know, it, it's, it's, it's weird calling it, I guess it's, you know, they call reality TV reality, and that's far from reality. So I guess that's, it doesn't really matter. You can just name your shit whatever you want. Uh, but it was amazing. Some of the acts that, like, the finalists, uh, I, I wasn't a big fan of, like, the voting. Some of the early on episodes where, you know, the audience has to vote. Um, and the audience, that's that's, like, kind of a crazy variable that comes in at the end where it's like i didn't i thought for sure i know knew who was gonna win and i wasn't necessarily i thought uh let's see i thought his name michael ketterer i thought he was totally gonna win he's a singer uh garth brooks wrote him a song to sing on the finale uh and you know amazing singer and he's a, a really cr crazy good dude dops a bunch of kids he's like he's like one of the best dudes you know out there and uh i totally thought he was gonna win he had the christian angle he was a singer it was like it was his backstory was amazing courtney hadwin she's like 13 from uh uh scotland england i'm sorry uh amazing voice i thought maybe she would she got cut early she was one of the finalists but she didn't make it into the top five ketterer made it in the top five uh the comedian Samuel J. Uh, Camro, Comro, amazing, hilarious. Uh, they went way too hard on his Tourette's. Like, he has a very mild version of Tourette's. He has, like, face twitching. Like, I have face twitching when I don't sleep enough. Um, not to the extent of face twitching that he has, but it's not like he's out there screaming cunt, you know, out in public. He doesn't have that. But it, the it's just everything was like, oh, how... He's overcome his Tourette's. It's like he did, I guess, but you know, part of being a comic is is accepting your it's comedians come from a place of like pain and suffering a lot of times. Uh then there was uh Brian King Joseph. He played the electric violin, but he has neuropathy. Uh, so he can't feel the strings while he played. They played that that he was. I don't know how much pain he was in, but they were saying he was in pain a lot more than he was saying he was in pain. Um, he got a lot farther than I thought he would. He was the top three. Then there was this Brazilian or no Austria. They're from Austria, Zucaro. Uh That makes sense why they most of them were like super. For some reason, I thought they were Brazilian. Um, they were amazing. This dance troupe. And th thinking that this, who, the winner of this has a Vegas show, it's like clearly they, they'd be a Vegas show, uh, which I'm sure they'll still get a show in Vegas or somewhere. They were amazing. I thought they were going to win, but the winner was Shin Lim. Nothing against him. Magician, amazing close up magic. Uh, but yeah, it was, he won it. It, like, it was crazy. It was down to him and Zucaro, like this group of 20 people, and then this, you know, cute asian dude a sexy asian dude he's you know he's got that kind of magician sex appeal uh but he won it it was amazing it was so amazing i love the show um i'm not going to check out any of the other like dancing with the stars or uh the voice i don't care about those i'll just this one i do like the tattoo and art related kind of judging shows those are fun to watch too uh but that's it America's Got Talent. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? I've been waiting for it to be over so I could talk to you about it on the show. But that's it. Uh, links up top. InspiredDisorder.com for all my work. Thank you all. Have a great day. Have a great week. Peace out. Oh,